Hey everybody, it's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and welcome to my end of the month haul for my pickups of horror DVDs and horror Blu-rays for the month of October. Uh, I just finished off the 31 Days of Horror. Again, thank you all for watching that. So let's get on to the one I picked up during this month. And yeah, started off kind of slow, but it picked right up. So right off the bat, we have some independent horror called The Beast Beneath. This is like a cool creature feature put out by SCS Entertainment. So I'll give this one a watch. Looks like a cool Tremors ripoff slash weird monster with tentacles. So yeah, it's a burn on demand uh, DVD. That's right there, like a newspaper article. So yeah, SCS, The Beast Beneath. Uh, next we have is on Blu-ray, Blackwater Abyss. Looks like a, the sequel to Blackwater, but now we have another killer alligator flick with some spelunkers. Next we have is Blade, uh, the Iron Cross. This is from the Puppet Master line. This is the Blade solo movie that Full Moon put out. I'm a sucker for uh, Puppet Master movies. This one to watch sometime soon. I had all the rest, but I never had this one, so I bought the Boogeyman uh, Special Edition. I found it for a couple bucks. I got Soundgarden, and I don't remember it much. I either remember not liking it, or if I liked it or not. So I have the other Boogeyman movies, but not this one, so I figured, meh, why not? We'll see how it goes. If I've seen it, I'd like to hear your thoughts. From... Where is this? Uh, Golden Ninja Video. We have Creature from Black Lake on blue. This is their numbered edition. I got 25 out of 300. So another bigfoot -esque type movie. These are Burn On Demand Blu-rays. From Vinegar Syndrome, we have Cemetery of Terror. Uh, that's the slip. That's... The reverse cover art right there. Some more, I think it's Mexican horror, Spanish horror, I don't know. One of the two, but yeah, I gotta add those into the collection. Another um, weird one I found at Soundgarden for dirt cheap. Uh, creep, creepers? Creepy? Creepies. I guess it's another weird killer spider movie I did not own, so if I've seen it, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Next we have, I can't believe Severn put this out, and that's Cruel Jaws, also known as Jaws 5. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cruel Jaws is, I actually had a bootleg of this, and that's the only way you can get it was a bootleg. And that's the reverse cover right there, which was originally supposed to be released by Screen Factory, but they did not. So somehow Severn got it and said we're doing it. So thank you Severn, we have a Cruel Jaws uh, Blu-ray. And uh, I have the squirt gun, which is over there somewhere. I'm not going to dig it out. <laughs> uh, another upgrade. I found Dead Tone on Blu-ray. This is a, one of those weird uh, slashers from Flavor Flav's Night Tales. Like to do prank phone calls, and they prank the wrong person. And the person comes to the party and starts picking people off one at a time. Uh, one, my 4K from Vinegar Syndrome, we have... Uh, Deadly Games, also known as Dial Code for Santa, and there's another, I forgot, there was another weird uh, name for this weird Killer Santa Claus movie. It's it's definitely odd, and I remember we did a, on the podcast for Cinema Tech, we did a, yeah, we talked about it and everything, brought up a commentary video. <laughs> so weird. So now we actually have our own physical release of this film, thank God. Deadly Games. It's got the 4K and Blu-ray to it. Next up, another upgrade. Deep Blue Sea. <laughs> Matt, Deep Star 6. Wow. Yeah, Deep Star 6 is awesome. I love this movie. Um, I have had it on DVD forever. And I love how we have this cover, which is the original cover here. And somehow we have that awesome cover too, which I think is a UK cover. But... I love having both there. 
So Kilo Lauber, thank you so much for releasing this on blue finally. Deep Star 6, awesome flick. Another Golden Ninja video, which I was surprised I actually upgraded the DVD. <laughs> the DVD was from Brain Damage Films, and we're talking about Don't Let the River Beast Get You. Yeah, there's something wrong with me, I buy this movie twice. So yeah, another Burn on Demand from Golden Ninja. I got number 24 out of 300, and there's the inside right there. Pretty cool. So yeah, another dude in a creature suit running around killing people. Yeah. <laughs> from Scream Factory, finally picked up uh, Dreamscape, and I was surprised that it actually had the slip. Came from Amazon, and I've always loved the snake monster in this movie. So yeah, finally grabbing uh, Dreamscape. It kind of annoys me because it came with a little dent in the slip, but you know what? I'll live with it. I can live with that. Another Scream Factory that I think is going out of print because I keep finding it high prices, but I finally picked up Extraterrestrial. Now, I remember when I first watched it, I was kind of like, eh, but I'm going to give it a second watch. And I remember liking it the second watch, so I'm glad to finally own this in the collection. So finally, Extraterrestrial. And next we have, I know everyone has shown this bad boy, but we got the Friday the 13th box set. Yeah, finally having this. I know the issues with the discs, so I sent in my information for replacements. I don't know if the replacements are out yet, uh, but that's the side view. It's got all the films on there. I love the top. So yeah, it's got all the movies on blue. Again, there's there's up uh, there's unboxing videos everywhere for this box set, but Screen Factory, thank you so much. Now I hope since they did this, Nightmare on Elm Street gets the next one because the Nightmare Blu-ray looks like shit. I still have my Snapper Case DVD set, so I can't upgrade that yet. Uh, another Screen Factory, I did it. I upgraded Ghost Ship again, so I love that beginning. And we got the whole see no evil flip there. So why not? It's got some more special features to it. I don't mind it. Uh, I know a lot of people get this one hate, but again, it's not bad. It's not bad for what it is. Next we have from uh, Sticky Tuna. And this is one of the bootlegs that they have. And we have Halloween Night, uh, a Halloween fan film. Now it's got multiple fan film shorts on here. Uh, from Scream Fest, you have the Halloween Night, you have uh, the horror film sh short called Slut, and the horror short film Devil's Passenger. So I guess if you're a big uh, Michael Myers fan, Halloween fan, uh, this will be a must own. Some more fan made films are coming to physical release, so I can't wait to give these a watch and see how they go. Uh, next up from Ronin, definitely upgraded this, uh, Haunt, Haunt was awesome, I never bothered with the that $50 pack with all the posters, which I could care less about, the pins, maybe for the pin board, but nah, I'll stick with the normal release, uh, it's great, it's got all the be better features to it, so glad to have Haunt on Blu-ray, I was surprised that it did, like I was happy at first. But then I didn't notice that they released a regular edition, so I said, fuck it, I'm buying the regular edition. Another upgrade, uh, The Haunting. I have this on DVD. And again, I remember seeing this in the theater. Uh, I had the old poster with the house on it, which I thought was pretty cool. Again, it's another one that's kind of slow, it's kind of eh, but I liked it. So I'm definitely keeping this in for the collection. So yeah, The Haunting. Uh, from a pawn shop, I found Hell, a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. I guess it's supposedly the Earth is now scorched and people are trying to survive. So I think it's like a survival horror film. If anybody's seen this movie, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, it's new to me. From SRS Cinema. Uh, this one sold out fast and I managed to score a copy. Uh, the House on Cuckoo Lane. Looks like a weird 
maybe a shot on video slasher or home invasion film. So, if anybody's seen it, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Yeah. Uh, another upgrade. <laughs> Saying that a lot. Finally scored House on Haunted Hill. It's another one that I liked in my collection. And I had a bad DVD. And I know this was going out of print. I was at Soundgarden one day. And there it was, slipping all. I said, it's in my hand. So, House on Haunted Hill, which I kept the same artwork. It does have reversible artwork. So, yeah. From Kino Lauber. Finally, Kill Dozer. Awesome. Uh, 70s made for TV movie about a killer bulldozer. That was struck by like a meteorite and it goes wild and starts killing people off. So, very glad to own this in the collection. I never bothered with the Burn on Demand DVD, so glad I held off. <coughs> so now I have Kill Dozer. Gotta love the Killer Lawnmower movies. Now, Killer Bulldozer movies. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, next, from Scorpion, we have The Killing Box. Looks like a. Civil War horror with zombies and everything. I don't know anything about it. it. looked interesting. I watched the trailer. It goes by something else, too, for the trailer. Um, I want to say it's... What the hell is it called? And we're looking... It goes by another alternate title. But, yeah. So, Killing Box said, what the hell, why not? Next we have, I found out a pawn shop. Mary. I guess it's supposed to be like Carrie on a Boat. I don't know. I've been hearing on and off things about it. So I figured I'll give it a watch. If it's good, all right. If not, well, I gave it a shot. And I threw it on the floor. Jesus. Uh, next we have is Massacre at Dino Dinosaur Valley. Another upgrade from the old Shriek Show. So Severin, thank you for putting this out. Crazy Flick. From Wally World, I bought Monstrous, so it's another like Bigfoot film. If anybody's seen it, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. So, Monstrous. Been sitting in the shelves for a while, I figured, eh, what the hell, I'll pull the trigger. Uh, the Necromancer from Vinegar Syndrome, uh, one I never owned, so I can't wait to get this one a shot. And this is also one of the late numbered editions. 1447 out of 6,000? No, 4,000. So, yeah, Necromancer. So, never seen it. If you see it, like to hear your thoughts. Uh, where'd I get this one? Um, Soundgarden, yeah. Found the Oracle. I don't know anything about it. This is put up by, looks like another Shriek Show release. Synopsis sounded cool. <laughs> Sounds wicked weird. So yeah, the Oracle, we'll see how that goes. From Severn again, we have Primitives. Uh, another one I did not own for the collection. And there's the reverse right there. Some more cannibals and jungle horror. So yeah, Primitives. Another Soundgarden one I found cheap. Uh, Rabid, the remake from the Soska Sisters. Never seen it. Always wanted to give it a watch. So I figured it was on cheap for a, a used copy. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Rest in Pieces. Done by Vinegar Syndrome. Another one of those weird, obscure... I think it's a, a slasher. And it has reversible um, cover art right there. So another one I have never seen before. So I can't wait to give that one a spin. Another Scream Factory. Uh, Road Games. So another one with Jamie Lee Curtis. It's another one I never picked up. So I'm glad to finally own that into the collection. Next we have is uh, Save Yourselves. I watched this the other day. It's not good. I was bored with it. They was trying to be funny and it wasn't funny in moments. So this is not a keeper. So the whole giant uh, killer... Tribbles, I guess there were, or they had the whole poof thing going. Eh, no, that is a no go for me. Next, we have is Scare Package. This anthology was awesome, and I always, that sticker always 
freaks me out because I think it's on there, but it's actually part of the slip. <laughs> Mascara package, great anthology with uh, Billy Bob on here. Joe Bob, wow, what is wrong with me today? So with Joe Bob, Joe Bob, Billy Bob, one of the Bobs, yeah, I'll be the Bob. Uh, next we have is Snow White. Uh, I remember seeing this in the video stores back in VHS days. The whole taking a Disney movie and turning it into a horror film with Sigourney Weaver. So I finally, this was super cheap on Amazon. So I figured why not, I'll grab that for sure. Uh, Souls Midnight. I guess it's like a weird vampire flick, <coughs> vampire demon. Uh, it looks like it's called Practical, so I found it dirt cheap. Give it a shot. If anybody's seen it, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Uh, Spine Chiller. This is the reverse cover art from uh, um, Scream Team releasing. It was alright. Definitely has some weird moments to it. Uh, some Some stuff doesn't make sense, but some stuff did. Very odd film, so definitely will be keeping that for now. Uh, Tales from the Hood Part 3. I enjoyed it. I thought it was better than the second one. Uh, Tony Todd's character was pretty cool in it, and the whole stories with the wraparound did well. So Tales from the Hood 3, definitely recommend it. Uh, Tank 432. Looks like it's a secluded horde are all stuck in this giant military tank that people are going crazy I don't know, I found it for a couple bucks I figured why not for a uh, Scream Factory one of those IFC Midnight's for cheap why not if anybody's seen it like to hear your thoughts Tremor 7 <laughs> Shrieker Island I loved it uh, the ending was awesome I teared up a little bit at the ending I don't care what they say but uh, they finally get Shriekers now because all the rest of the movies after 4, you know, 5 and 6 were the Graboids and the Ass Blasters. We get the Graboids and we finally get Shriekers. So yes, so much fun. I'll be watching that again for sure. Uh, Terrified from a Shutter Exclusive. I've been hearing really good things about this, so I have to give this one a watch. I heard it's pretty fucking creepy. Uh, Terror in the Isles, another... I think it's a compilation of trailers and everything. Gotta love my trailer compilations. Uh, they Live Inside Us. Another, uh, I think it's an anthology on Halloween. Haven't watched it yet. So if I've ever seen it, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that one. Then we have the Untold Stories put out by... Uh, Un Unearthed Films. So if I add this to the collection, the DVD is way out of print and hard to find. So they released this bad boy with all these special features. I've been hearing really good things about this for people who need to pick it up. So of course, I did. Let's see here. I know I'm going to drop some of the shit. So, we're going to move this. Yeah. We do a Secret Satan on our pot on the group. For the 22 shots and the guy hooked me up pretty awesome he hooked me up with <laughs> ultraman uh yeah the regular first ultraman he hooked me up with the ultraman the return of ultraman these big ass box sets and ultraman ultraman ace so if i have a nose so i think i'm missing one more out of the group so they form a picture, so I can't wait to add those to the wall. Another upgrade from Arrow. Warning from Space. Never thought I would see this get a an, uh, an Arrow release. For, <laughs> looks pretty badass. I wasn't too fond with the inside cover art, so I like the, the star creature one, of course. So, Warning from Space, cool kaiju type film. A documentary. Welcome to my dark side. And this one is a woman in horror documentary. So glad to add that to the collection. Oops, this one got out of place. 
Uh, Screen Factory's The Vampire. Um, I guess this is going out of print. I saw it for 12 bucks on Amazon, so I figured I'll grab it now, because you never know. They have a whole bunch that are, are on the list that are going out. So if you see them, grab them, because you never know. Uh, the Ouija's. Another new full moon little mini monster movie. We'll see how this one is. <laughs> you never know. Then we have from Vinegar Syndrome, Who Done It? It's another, I guess, a weird, obscure slasher. Don't know anything about it, so I'm finally cool to have this in the collection. Love that artwork. And the back says, Seven people are dead. You're next. Okay. <laughs> And for the last films, we have <clears throat> another doc. The Wolfman's Got Nards. <laughs> this is for a uh, Monster Squad documentary. So I can't wait to give this one a watch and see how that goes. Dude, Wolfman's Got Nards. <laughs> and last from Shudder, we have Yummy. I did a review on this for my 31 Days of Horror. It's a fun little zombie flick, so I definitely recommend it. <clears throat> okay, guys, that's it for my haul for my pickups for the month of October. I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry for all the mix-ups. Tired. I didn't feel like re recording again, so you get what you get. All right, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and like to read the comments down below and reply. All right, guys, have yourself a good one. Later. Peace.